It's been exactly one year since an Oakland man died during an attempted arrest. 26 year old Mario Gonzalez died after police tried to arrest him at Scout Park in Alameda. This is body cam video here. Police were responding to calls of an intoxicated man suspected of theft. Two officers pinned Gonzalez for more than four minutes. He later died at a hospital. An autopsy ruled that meth was the main cause. His family, though, argues that the restraint killed him. His death spurred marches and vigils across the Bay Area while supporters of his family demanded action. Last week, the district attorney decided not to press charges against the officers for his death. Tonight, his family and friends are not giving up. Here's NBC Bay Area Cheryl Hurd. Family and friends of Mario Gonzalez say they gathered here tonight not to remember how he died. They say they want to celebrate how he lived. Man, if you knew Mario, he would put a smile on your face. Classmates, family, and friends marking the one-year anniversary of Mario Gonzalez's death at this Alameda Park where he was detained, handcuffed, and later died while in police custody. Mario was a loving brother, son, and father. There was a ceremony with music to celebrate Gonzalez's life, but the message was all about justice for Mario. We've all seen this video, and we also, we also saw the tragedy that happened to George Floyd. What's the difference here? If you could charge those officers, these officers should also be facing criminal conviction and a criminal trial. What's your name? Earlier this month, Alameda County DA Nancy O'Malley deciding not to charge the three Alameda police officers seen in this body cam video detaining Gonzalez. In a 40-page report, O'Malley claims the evidence does not support criminal charges against any law enforcement officer related to this incident. We're just trying to grapple with disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. The city of Alameda hired a law firm to conduct an independent investigation in this case. In February, Gonzalez's mother filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of Alameda and the police officers involved, claiming unlawful, unreasonable, and unnecessary death of her son. I remember feel my broken, you know, I can't even talk one year, you know, missing my, my son. We're just showing that my brother was a human and he needs to be, needs to find his justice one way or another. In Alameda, Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.